Hi guys, welcome to the bathroom. In today's video, I know it's a weird place to be, isn't it? Um, for today's video, but <laughs> today's video, I'm just going to show you how I clean the painted tiles in the shower recess. A little while ago, it was probably about a year ago now, we um, did up our really old bathroom that I never thought we, we could actually do. It was sort of something that we would have to get someone in to do. And after doing the kitchen, I thought, oh, we'll give it a go. We'll just do it bit by bit. Instead of pulling it all apart, we just sort of did up what we had. We put the bench, a nice um, laminate wooden look bench on top of the existing bench. 95% of it's paint. So a lot of it is the wall ceiling paint. The rest is tile paint we used on the cabinets, on the wall tiles, the shower tiles, on the floor and in the shower recess floor. So it's all pretty much tiles. Um, not only when you paint tiles do you paint the tile, but you paint the grout as well. So you're actually sealing the grout with the paint. And actually a big, huge, massive bonus doing this is that you don't tend to get mold coming up in your shower grout because it's been sealed and it's been covered by the tile paint and that is a huge bonus. So today I'm just going to show you how I clean it. It still does get a little bit dirty and grimy. I mean that's natural with all the soap, shampoo, all that sort of thing and I wipe it over when I can but just in the little tiny nooks and crannies it can get a little bit grimy and dirty so I'll just show you what I do. I do it very gently. I just use soapy water and a toothbrush and just to get into the little crevices and, just and to just put enough friction on it to actually get the dirt off. I just thought it might be of interest to someone who has either painted their tiles or who are thinking of painting their tiles in the shower in the bathroom and wonder how they get on with cleaning. So yeah, I'll get started. So these are the, the painted tiles and I have done a video on it which I'll link in the description. Up the top they're fine, they don't even really get wet so um, uh, that's a big help too. And if you can see, it's really sort of hard but you can see in here there's a bit of a sheen. Um, you actually, I actually painted the grout which it does say to do. Before that though it has to be all cleaned and rid of any mould. Um, I mean you can never get rid of mold completely but it, I got rid of as much as I could and that's fine so that they're the top tiles and they look really great as we go down a little you can see that you get a little bit and I'm not sure what that is it could be a bit of um, colored hair product or something my daughter uses but um, yeah so you get a little little bits and pieces in the actual grout. Um, like I said, the grout is covered over with paint and you'll see in a minute why that is a good thing <laughs> because it is so much easier to clean. It's not only easier to clean, but you, it's safer to clean because all I use is a toothbrush and dishwashing liquid and it just comes out really well. I've left it a little bit um, so it really does need cleaning. Uh, it's not normally like this and it probably looks worse than it is because I'm zooming in. But if you can see how the silicon sort of yellowed a little and I'm just not too sure what that is either. Whether it's a reaction from the tile paint, I don't know. But that does sort of come up a bit better. But I'll show you how I clean it and we'll see how it comes up. Another little brush here. You can see it's just a bit of soapy water. I'd hold the camera a bit closer because um, sorry if I'm wobbling it <laughs> um, I just wanted to get in and show you how easy it comes off it's because it's not actually mold and it's because I don't think the mold can get into it into the grout because it's been sealed 
with the tile paint. It, it's like almost like a, a bit of a slime that, um, yeah, that comes off. And I try not to do it too hard. You don't need to. I'm not even holding that hard. I'm just doing it really gently, and um, it comes off so easily. It's actually a pleasure <laughs> to clean. It's a little bit here, and I don't know whether that. Oh, what is that? What did you? Oh yeah, that's actually coming off too. I thought that might have been a bit of mold, but just must be a little bit of dirt that's wedged in there somehow. Yeah, so that's come off too. That's good. So you can just see how easy it's coming off. Sometimes if you wet it and it's stubborn and you just move on and keep going and then you come back to it, it's almost like it's sort of softened it that will come off a bit easier so um, yeah this toothbrush is actually a, a soft toothbrush as well so it's not hard the video guys I just wanted to do a really quick video showing you how I clean my tile painted shower tiles on the wall and on the floor as you saw um, there was no actual mold the paint sealed the grout and no mold has come up as yet um, it's just some sort of slimy stuff and that comes off really easily I actually enjoy doing it it's fun I feel like I'm painting with water I'm like a kid again <laughs> painting with water but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you and it's not perfect, like I didn't do it perfectly, but I didn't raise the sweat. It wasn't hard to do, there was no stinky smell, no bleach, and I'm really pleased. For those of you who haven't seen our bathroom before and our bathroom makeover, you might wonder why we don't have a shower screen. We did intend to put one up after we finished doing up or making over the bathroom, and by the way, this was a $1,000, under $1,000 makeover, so we were really pleased with that. Um, and the reason wasn't money-wise particularly, it was the fact that we just liked it without it. It's quite a small bathroom, and once you put the shower screen in, it sort of closes everything off. So we actually thought we'd leave it out. And another pro with that is no shower screen to clean. Um, we do get a little bit of water on the tiles when we have a shower, but I mean they're tiles, so they're easy enough to just wipe down and dry off. So that's the reason we don't have a shower screen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to come back next week. Probably will be a makeover because I like to sort of mix my videos up. And I will see you then. Bye for now. Feel the sun in days, caress